hi everyone this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel in this video I am going to show you a very interesting model called as UI TARS from Bytance we already have covered similar models by the way now what this model does is is quite interesting so this is a GUI agent model which has been designed to interact seamlessly with graphical user interfaces using human-like perception, reasoning and action capabilities. In simple words, what it means is that whenever you run this model, you can, for example, ask it to click on a graphical user interface. For example, on your screen, you see this website from Hugging Face model card for this model. If you want this model, to such as use this model click on this button so this model should be able to pinpoint exact button on this graphical user interface and then you can uh, use this model to reason with it so primarily you can create a GUI agent with the help of this model where you can sort of use computer use or browser use in addition to this the accuracy of this model is quite good in various benchmarks which they have done now this is not the first time any company has created such model we already have covered a lot of uh, similar models on the channel in the last few months as you can see and we have found out that most of these models were quite good including the show ui and os atlas and there are various other which you can already see if i scroll down so just search the channel with gui agent and you should be able to find heaps of models there but now let's focus on this model and we are also going to uh, install it and run it locally to see how it works it comes in various flavors including supervised fine tuning where we give it some examples and it has to comply to those examples to be more grounded but this one is a dpo or direct preference optimized fine-tuned version where uh, we have aligned it to human preferences so that it will be more grounded and it will act like just a human so unlike traditional modular frameworks this ui tars integrates all key components which include perception reasoning grounding and memory within a single vision language model that enables end-to-end -end task automate automation without predefined workflows or manual rules and they have shared the whole research paper and a lot of other stuff uh, besides of this which you can check out and i will drop the link to it in videos description so let's try to get it installed and we will see how it works before that let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGentBot. iGentBot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like discord slack and others it is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and i will drop the link to their website in videos description let me take you to my terminal now for my terminal i am going to use this ubuntu system which is a latest version of ubuntu as you can see and for my gpu card i am using this nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gb of vram this vm in this gpu has been sponsored by our very good friend at mass compute i am renting it from them if you also want to run it the model i mean and if you want to rent these gpus i will drop the link to their website with a discount coupon of 50 percent which you can check from the video's description okay so that is done let's first create a virtual environment with the help of conda and then we will start installing this model so i'm just going to install this conda environment with python 3.11 and now we need to install all the prerequisites and you can see that i'm installing torch torch vision and a lot of other stuff uh, which is required for this and make sure that you're installing the latest versions otherwise it won't work because it's a very recent model which is only compatible with the latest versions of torch torch vision and transformers and it is almost there it is going to take four to five minutes another point i wanted to make here is that if you have a recent version of um or uh, recent or latest gpus from ampere or hopper you can even install flash attention okay so i'm not going to install it i just want to do it without it but that just accelerates the uh, inference next up i'm git cloning the repo of this ui tars which i will drop the link in video description and that is all done 
and that was the whole installation now if you want to run it all you need to do is to run this command it is going to start a greedio demo on your local host at default port 7860 so let me run it and then we will access it in the browser and there you go the greedio demo is running now before i show you this let me show you a very interesting point here so these are the examples so if i come down there are two things which are very very noteworthy first this is apache 2 license which is simply amazing really thank you for creators for this because this is a very permissive license almost you can do anything with it another thing is that look here the app code is modified from show ui if you go back if you remember i just showed you this show ui which we did two months ago and this is one of the really good model for this action on as a gui agent by the vision models now having said that let's go back and let's try it out now the first up for example i'll just select this example and if i go up it has selected here and the instruction is to play the solitaire collection now what this model should be doing it is uh, just doing using its vision it should go through this gui and find the solitaire and wherever it finds it it should create a red point over there there you go you see it is just going with this you see this red circle so this is where it has found it really really good stuff similarly in another example i have given it this image of map and i'm asking it to open map let's run it and by the way you would need any around 16 to uh, 16 gp of vram in order to run this okay and then you see that it has created the circle on the open map button here on the map how good is that in the next one we are giving it to click team one win on this image it is processing it and then you see that it has created the team one how good is that really really good stuff okay in another interesting test what i did i just uploaded my own image here and then the instruction is to comp the hair so let me click on submit let's go here there you go so it has just been pointed on the hair so and you can of course mix and match you can change it as you like i have uploaded another image so let's see if it can uh, maybe i'll just say um, mobile phone let's see if it if it is able to detect it there you go and how accurate that is how accurate that is really really impressive stuff for this dpo model so that's it i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think about this model i'm very very impressed i will drop the link to it in video description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thank you for watching